Go on then, give your speech. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pathfinder Norvald. Um, so I assume you all know what Pathfinder is. I assume you all know what Norvald is because you, you should have been watching. If you haven't been watching, watch the 50 million other videos and Twitch things that Lee and I have uploaded between them. Um, so welcome. Hopefully, we're on the last episode of season three, if not, we're on uh, season two, if not, we're on the second to last. Uh, so, our heroes were sent by Vigo at the start of the season, who is the steward of Svard, the capital of Norvald, to rally allies south of Thryn uh, because of the massacre, and the king is dead. Our heroes arrived in Blard to recruit the locals and have been aiding the town. They've killed a giant, rescued a priest, defeated the killer faceless, uncovered a meat conspiracy, and rescued a damsel in distress. On the way, Giles even managed to pull off a resurrection and avoid becoming a werewolf. So we've done an awful lot. So recently, they've rescued the damsel, killed the bandit Gorn, and after getting some nice goodies, uh, they're on their way back to... Um, the hall, Loxon Hall. I'm gonna need some dice for this. Yeah, I'm gonna need some dice um, and character what, sheets I'm if you've forgotten like, them. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm just <laughs> slyly pulling out my notes just because like, oh, I'm totally prepared for this. <laughs> Good age since we played, that's why. Uh, we're so well prepared. Always. Mm. D6. I'm ready to rock. D20. This is where Fana adds on even in his, uh, his new office. I've, I've got everything <laughs> in here now. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's when you need to go back into the house to work, <laughs> fetch dice. Oh, it's raining at the rear, don't <laughs> So, Angelus, um, you've just closed up your little purple purse uh, in which you've put the body of Gorn um armor and yeah. lots of goodies as well and you have this weird red short sword in your hand a long sword i've got down oh sorry long sword yeah it's long yeah. sword at the moment yep yeah, long sword uh yes this is evil awesome. get get checked <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, note. that's the last note on that sword <laughs> Talking about notes, where are mine? Sorry about this. I haven't, I haven't brought happened. down my chair yet out of the house. I've got this old one. It creaks like crazy when I move. <laughs> Is that because you can't get it out of the room? You need to take it apart. What to get it in here? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too narrow. So, what are you guys going to do then? Um. Start walking, I suppose. Oh. You see, if, if I remember correctly, my little purse that I've shoved this dude in is airtight, so he's, he's probably going to die. Just to give it a quick. Every now and again, just. Yeah. As we're walking, every now and again, I go. <gasps> how, how frequently? <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Every. It'll have to be like every minute or something. How long can you hold your breath for, Dave? Um. <laughs> <gasps> it, it, That's it some serious to... torture. <laughs> Just basically waterboarding a man in a um, in a bag of holding. Okay, yeah, you'll have to open it about every 30 seconds. Can't you just keep an eye on the purse, like have it open, like, and if anything starts to creep out like a hand, just slam it shut. Tell you what, I'm going to hold it. Well, we'll hold it because it's light, and as we're walking, I'll hold yeah. it kind of in front of me. All right. Just remember, yeah. if we get into combat, the first thing you do is close that purse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be an awkward shuffle with your coin purse hanging out, but uh, I'll allow it. Did why did we why did we keep him alive? I can't remember. Did we need to? Um, I can't remember. I think we did. There's oh, a lot hello? of things on question about what we do. So, <laughs> very much working again. I'm surprised Dave's not removed his face yet. <laughs> this time but, yet this time <laughs> should, shall we take a leisure a leisurely walk towards the hall 
Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cool. Sure. Wasn't there some traps along this route? Don't we need to go oh, down? Crap, there is. Down yeah. here and then across. Which direction is the hall, left or right? If you get, if you, well, you could either go straight left or you can go down back the way you came, cross the camp at the bottom and then head back on the, on, on the route back um, where you cross the water and then head north. Hmm. Straight left? Yeah, I'll go up. Okay. Let's get out of here. So yeah, just, yeah, let's just, that's, um, let's casually. I was just watching Paris's face for a, can you just roll for me? <laughs> like, no. uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I guess that's uh, one coming as well. <laughs> if you guys are heading left that way, oh, then no. I have oh, another screen. Go. Oh, I was waiting for you hear a click. Please, <laughs> please roll for perception. <laughs> so can I get a perception from you, please? Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> And can I get a perception to see traps, please, Dave? 27 is my perception, because I've still got the weird uh, contacts in. 20 yep. for me. Perception, 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 perception. My perception is 21. And my trap finding perception, is that the one you want? Yes. Yeah. Is not bad. Um, twenty percent, eight. Oh, um, twenty-four. Twenty-four. Cool. So, Lee and Dave, you can see a couple of traps in the bushes. So, in particular, you see uh, these ropes, these snares, and they are here, 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 here and here. <laughs> I'll show you oh them again. God. So I, I, I don't need to see them again. Let's go, let's go down. <laughs> I've, I've not finished describing everything. Oh. Um, oh. Also, <laughs> also, as well, you can see in front so of fun. you the forest start to extend, and you can see next to you uh, a small watching tower in a tree, and uh, a, a man like just watching you. Any stock still? Question. Yes. Who's the lady stood next to us? The lady <laughs> is Aria, Gary's wife, who you've rescued. Oh yes, oh, I remember that. It's kind of like a night out, that isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the lady next to me. <laughs> Speaking right. of which, Dave, who's that getting off your bed? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what do we do about this person then? Do we like do we go say hello or do we just avoid all the traps? Dave, you're our tank. Go knock on the door. Knock, knock on the door on a, in a tree house. <laughs> so this this is a ladder in in Talk front of watch, you, like a a stair ladder that's quite steep. Right. And it takes you into this tree here, where there's this man and he's got a nice big fire next to him. Okie dokie. Um. All right. Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll go wander up there. I'll I'll go wander up to him. Yeah. Um, Go say hi. I'm waiting for Paris to go click or something like that. <laughs> there's, there's no traps along there. You're all right. That's them. <laughs> he, oh. as you approach him, you see his hand trembling on his axe and his shield, and he says, "What? What? What are you guys doing here? Um, what are you doing here?" Um, I'm guarding this way. There's there's traps, and he points down out towards the forest, the direction you're heading. He says we've we've set lots and lots of uh, lots of traps to stop people from. And then he sort of looks back towards like where Gary's house would be, and he sort of sighs and he goes, "It's not good, is it?" <laughs> uh... Not not if you were protect protecting Gary. <laughs> 
Did you shout? I like mean, that? are you sorry? Not if you're <laughs> taking Gary. <laughs> he he nods. Can I get an intimidate ad? <laughs> oh no! What <laughs> is that? Is that meant to be intimidating? Is it meant to be funny? Is it just meant to be a, a, a statement that's not meant to mean anything? <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, f- funnier, mind, mind you, might might not take it as funny as <laughs> Go on, I'll try for an intimidate, even though yeah. my charisma's minus two. Um, yeah, yeah, flat d twenty, then minus two. <laughs> That'll be nine. That'll be nine. Okay, so he looks at you, and he goes, ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> so, funny. and uh, you know has a bit more of a grip on his shield, but his hand with the axe is still, like, shaking and trembling. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'd be like, um, would you help us, would you help guide us at, oh, through these traps? Could you tell us where these traps are? He slowly nods. And he... Says, um, and 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 I'll I'll be okay. You guys don't want to hurt me, right? I mean, if we don't have to hurt you, that's fine. I mean, is that a lie, Dave? N- no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any intentions to hurt this man? Look, there's, the good news is I'm nowhere near there. I, I've not even gone up. <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> so, you know. I mean, you have nothing to fear from me. Uh, uh, I can do a sense motive. <laughs> can oh I God. get a... I'm trying to think. because you. I suppose you're not... Out, I'm going to get a bluff, because even though you're not outright lying, you're kind of insinuating oh, with yeah. your words, aren't you? You'll get a bonus oh, no, I, I am... of what you're doing. But okay, well, you'll, you'll get a certain we motive. Go. We don't even need to bother with this guy. We can just leave him be in his tower. He'll be fine. But then again... We could have left. We could have left two villages ago <laughs> and left them alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> But instead, no, we massacred a bunch of dwarves and we just killed another village. <laughs> That's true. I mean, let's no just stay true to life. <laughs> there, are, there can't be any witnesses if there's no one left to witness. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get your bluff, please, um, Dave? My bluff? Oh, shit. I, um, I rolled eight. Uh, bluff. Oh, eight. Oh, wow, okay, 16 then. Okay. So he looks at you and he takes um, some sticks and he starts like throwing them like sticks from the fire. And you see, give me a second, I will just move to the DM screen. So you immediately see a load of these traps just go off as he's throwing, and they're all the ones that you marked. And he says, there are a few more, but they're a bit far away from here. I'll stay here, and I'll I'll let you know if you're going anywhere near them. And he yeah, reaches okay. he reaches for a horn, and he says, I'll blow on this if you get near them. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll convey this back to everyone else and be like, I'll shout up to this. him. Do you not want to come with us? There's nothing left to guard. He he shake he shakes his head. Oh. How rude! It's just, that's just yeah, poor, just poor really. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll come down the stairs. Cool. 
Be like, so long. Thanks for the help. He nods and puts the horn in his hands. He sees hands trembling. Shall we oh. walk away and leave him alone? So I'm leaving this guy alone. Okay. I mean, a little part of me really wants to set the tree out on fire. Oh, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kick, kick the ladder out from under it. It's on fire. <laughs> oh, is, can, I have, can, I, can I look at the ladder? Is the ladder secured? <laughs> the ladder's tied in with rope. Damn. Fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll, I'll cut walk down here and go. So you guys continue, and if you continue in that path, he doesn't he doesn't blow his horn, and you guys continue straight to the end. No issues. Marvellous. So you continue through the woodland, the trees, you get to the edge of the lake where you circle around north. Um, can I get a survival check from everyone just to check that they all know that they're going in the right direction? It's easy enough from the lake, but just to make sure. At nineteen. Anyone? Yep. Nice. Um, eleven. Eleven. So Ad knows his way. Lee's knows his way. Dave, you're not quite sure, but you know they're taking the lead. And as you get to near where Loxon Hall is, yeah. you guys. Well, I'll get perception off you. All. Mm. Fourteen. Oh my god, I, I'm rolling terrible. This is not good. <laughs> 23. Uh, 11 again. So you guys find yourself... If I can find it, I don't know where it's gone. You guys find yourself on the way to Loxon Hall... It's supposed to be blank. Yeah, I've oh, just revealed go. it. And you guys see up ahead um, a man in some stocks. Um, he's a man with a small satchel next to him that looks battered and dusty. Um, and the man is just beaten, black and blue. You can't you can't tell what he looks like because of how bruised his face is and like the bulges on. But he's sort of like got a hand and a leg in the stocks, and the rest of him is sort of flapping out. Um, and he's going, water, I want to drink water or beer. <laughs> ah, man after my own heart. I'm just going to walk up to him. Oh, no. Ask him. Why are you here? The, the, the Lord Snorri. I didn't, I didn't deliver his... I lost his messages. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and you recognize this man as Joel, the messenger who was in the the pub and you mugged him for his messages. I mean, I'm going to kill him off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um oh. Phenomenal. Uh, Other question. Who's this <laughs> blokey down the hill? Down. Down the is hill. He's supposed to be there. Oh, no, he's not supposed to be there. Did he inspire? Very good. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't say. I mean, I would. Hang on, I'm um, an evil cleric, right? I'm a chaotic. I'll just be like, how long have you got to be here for? <laughs> he says, until, until the men set off, and then they'll conscript me. But they think I'm a spy. I lost his messages, and he doesn't know where to go now. They're just going to march south. Uh, didn't we keep the message? Which which message is he talking about? Do we? 
than one for Snorri. Yeah, you guys had a few messages on you, didn't, didn't you? Didn't, didn't, didn't you have that message for Snorri, Dave? I think so, yeah. Could we just bluff him? Well, <laughs> I can't. You might be able to bluff him here now and just be like, oh, we found this one on the ground. Yeah. We, if we, if we uh, send you back with this message, will this get you back in your uh, his good books? Yeah, we can do Hang that. Hang on a minute. The, the, this guy is pretty rubbish, if I remember, at delivering messages. Well, he was drunk in the pub. Yeah, but like, like he was rubbish at his job anyway, so why are we trying to help him? <laughs> well, it's just the <laughs> goodness in me <laughs> that's supposed to be. Charles believes everyone should be good at their jobs. <laughs> good <laughs> work ethic. Mm. Mm. DM. It's a supervisor in you. DM. Uh, I'm going to be chatting with some bleeding touch. Some bleeding touch? Yes. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> Don't this is sacked. Um... <laughs> You're sacked. <laughs> uh, go on then. I'll have a D6 from you, please. <laughs> it takes five damage. Jesus Christ, Lee. Um. <laughs> How long do you wait for? How many rounds? How many seconds? Oh, I'll kill him off. Okay. Um, so can I get the... So it persists for two rounds until stopped with a DC 15 heal check. Um, or there's an effect that heals that damage. Uh, can I get two more D6s from you then? For the next following rounds. Three. And two. Yeah, uh, blood is just pouring from his wounds all over, and he falls unconscious. And you don't know whether he's dead or not, but there's just blood pouring all over the stocks and his body. I'll slit his throat as well whilst I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> you kill the the innocent man in the stocks who's helpless. I'll add him to my list. Yep. That's what you get when you don't deliver that, messages. All right. That's incredible. Is that the same as like if nobody replies to emails? Is that what happens? <laughs> 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 you um, you see Aria Shudder, yeah. and she goes, "You're a monster." <laughs> oh, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just staying true to character, guys. That's all it is. True to character. <laughs> She says, "You're a, you're a brute, but I see why. Uh, you know, you've rescued me, so you must be of use to my husband." Yeah, just be glad he's on your side <laughs> for mm. now. <laughs> she looks at the heavily disfigured Riker, Giles, whose you know hands are now covered in blood, and she tries to basically look for the one of you who who looks the most human, the least sinister. And she sort of sidles up to um, Angelus. And she says, you'll protect me, won't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'll do my best. <laughs> she looks like absolutely lost and shocked. And she says... Uh, <laughs> Locks and Halls, Locks and Halls, not far now, and she starts to uh, walk very quickly ahead of you all <laughs> in order to get there, and just sort of hurries away, heading to Locks and Hall. We'll follow her. Yeah, cool. I mean, before we do, can I search this corpse, please? Uh, there are. I mean, you can if you like, but he's just got a, a satchel on him. What and clothes? I mean, what's in the satchel? I know it's not letters. It's empty. <laughs> there's no, there's no letters left in there. He's just got his letter carrying satchel. Um, all the pockets on it have been cut open. The stitching's been undone. Um, all the stitching's been undone on his clothes. They've done. They've. It's like they've completely searched his body completely, and then beaten him and then put him in these stocks. Cool. All right. We'll follow. We'll follow the lady. Okay. Cool. And you end up at Loxon Hall. Only this time there's been an awful lot going on since you've been here. So let's reveal what's going on at Loxon Hall. 
Oh, God. <laughs> so you see that they are... The, the, the army's here now. The guard, everyone. You see Snorri barking orders at some guards going by over here. Um, you see the, the Mistress Olga. She's... Uh, not Mistress, sorry. The Maiden Olga. She's just polishing some boots on the steps. Uh, you see these two sort of nicely dressed looking people having a conversation. The guards sparring over here. The guards arming their crossbows and doing target practice. You see Eger, Snorri's assistant. He's barking orders at them to load and fire again and again and again. And you see them preparing the ballista um, onto a cart for it to be moved. And again, there's assorted men up here that you're not close enough really to make everyone out, but you can see that there's lots and lots of military action going on. So I suppose we could go chat to Snow. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? <clears throat> Where is Snow? Is that Snow there? Or is that someone else? Now, so Snorri's here. Oh, I don't really know what Snorri looks like. Let's um, okay. just have a look to him. Are we all with, with the lady in question? Yeah. Yeah. So she walks up to Snorri and he just simply points behind and she continues and uh, heads up and rushes to a, a man over here. And he says, well, gentlemen... You've done a, a bloody good job, I say. You're damn right. Nice. We've <laughs> got uh, Fracky and Gary have arrived with their men. They had quite a few wounds, but fortunately, because you uh, sorted Jaeger out, he's been here to heal them. We've got men inside my house, and they're um, they're just being patched up as we speak. My daughters are on uh, on bandaging juice duty. We've been able to release the guards because he killed Faceless. And uh, we've got the use of a ballista, of all things. So things are looking pretty good for our ex excursion to the south. Also, the refugees have entered the city and have started undertaking some of the repair work, and we've even managed to conscript a few. So it's all very, very good, gentlemen. You've done an amazing job. Excellent. <clears throat> yeah. Especially um, since we t knew exactly what we were doing the entire time. We you know. We <laughs> <laughs> Um, do you want to unload your purse, Dave? Oh yeah, Angelus, even. Um, yeah, I'll um, I'll open it up and I'll, I'm gonna shove. <laughs> and just just kind of like. Just... <laughs> it is a bit I'm like out. um Mary Poppins's bag, so you're gonna have to kind of reach in and drag him out. Um, oh okay, but it's easy enough to get out oh. the corpse of um, of Gorn. Wait, wait, corpse? <laughs> well, the corpse, the body, the uh, what? What you see of of Gorn Gornson? Cool. Uh, I'll, so I'll... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. move in, reach in, dig yeah. him out. It's like lambing season all now. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's purse is giving birth. He yeah. takes a look at your bag and he says, um, it matches your boots. Why, thank you. <laughs> he nods and then he gasps as he sees the body of Gorn Gaunson slide naked onto the floor as you stripped him of all his armor and possessions. Um, oh, yeah, go on. He says, I've not, I'd not seen Gorn in years. Well, men, and he whistles to the other two. Uh, and they immediately take him inside. Put him in irons if he survives the night. You gentlemen have done an excellent job. And I see he points to our side. You've managed to acquire his weapon. Indeed. Yes. I don't know much about this weapon. Do you think you might be able to enlighten me? Just roll and see what he knows. He says, I know not a lot about the Gaunson's family heirloom, only that it doesn't have a happy history. Many of the Gorns 
Well, the, the, the previous Gorn was known as a kind, happy person until he was driven mad. And then he became war-hungry. And eventually my grandfather put him down. His son, however, had a good reputation being, uh, whilst being a bandit in the woods, we, we generally left him alone as he only pried on the odd caravan, didn't make too much of a nuisance of himself. But over the last year or so, he's become increasingly unstable, um, apparently consorting with strange demons in the woods and a witch. Rumours were that he was also in league with um, the South, spying on us. So he had to be gotten rid of, particularly if we're going to start this war. Hmm. Okay. The, the sword itself is not a happy relic. It's got a an unfortunate name, and its name is Wrath. And that's all I know about it. An ancient weapon, not of elven, not of elven origin, which many of our weapons are. Wrath as in wrath with a W. Mm. Wrath as in the sin. Yeah. Mm. I uh, I turn and go, is there a sink I can use? He nods and he throws you Olga's bucket with water in. I uh, wash the blood off my hands. <clears throat> He says, uh, that looks fresh. Bandits follow you. I just uh, someone tried to. Uh, oh, yeah. just, just <laughs> some, somebody that had to die. <clears throat> Changing it so you uh, don't lie to him. <laughs> Keeping it nice and vague. He nods. He says, well, I suppose if it causes me a bit of trouble, you've earned... Um, You've earned a bit of lenience, but just try and keep your activities out of the city walls. Uh, Angelus, are we oh, passing, <clears throat> passing that letter on? Oh, yeah, the letter. Um, we found this. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, uh, I'll pass in the letter. Uh, which we... letter? Was it the one saying there was? Was it said? Did it say there were troops coming down or something? Yeah, I presume that's the ones that are already here. But yeah, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, we'll we'll say we'll say um, we 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 we've acquired this. Um, we we know it's addressed to you. Mm -hmm. He nods and he takes it off you. Uh, can I get a bluff? <laughs> I did not lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he says, "How did you? How do you come by this?" And he looks at you quite seriously. Um, how did we come by this? We came by it in the pub. <laughs> it was on on the floor of the tavern. <laughs> it's, it's, it's on the floor found... of the tavern, was it? I'm, I'm keeping quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll get a bluff on you. I'll, I'll, I'll keep oh, no, 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 no. We found it between leather. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's bluff time, gentlemen. Oh. God damn it! Okay. <laughs> I think you acting like utter freaks is worse <laughs> than just telling a small lie. <laughs> <laughs> Is this both of us or just Dave? I'll take it off, Dave. Oh, <laughs> what's my bluff? Hey, oh, okay, okay, come on, right. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, do you know what? That didn't go into the thing of rolling, but I'm going to take it anyway because it's going to be funny. What do you actually say uh, to him? What do I actually say to him? You say you <clears> found <throat> it on the floor, like I suggested. Um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. We we found <laughs> we found this trampled uh, on the floor of the tavern, hmm. and my bluff is eleven. Okay. okay. <laughs> so he takes the message off you and looks at it, and he says, um, "This doesn't look trampled." And he um, he gives you a bit of a look, 
and he opens it, sealing the, the seals already detached, and he um, brings it down and takes a look. And he says, did anyone else see this, apart from you gentlemen? Nobody alive. <laughs> <laughs> he looks to the bucket, he looks to Giles, and he looks to the rest of you, and he nods, and he brings it back up, and he says, well, I know where we're heading off to at midday tomorrow. Mm. Gentlemen, I believe you returned Gary's wife to him. I believe he'll want to bestow reward upon you. Fabulous. Oh, good, good. Mm. He nods. I'll um, I'll spare some coin, but I'll have it sent to you wherever you'll be staying tonight. Um, but I believe Gary will most likely want to invite you to his estate in Greybud. Okay. So. He says, where will you gentlemen be heading? Oh, you didn't happen to catch any other messages on the floor of the tavern, did you? Ager has been uh, been waiting for a letter of his cousin. Did we take any of this? Because I don't really remember. We, had, we did have a good pile of letters. <laughs> Are we still we do. We had like five, we had four. We, we were opening them all up, weren't we? In the yeah tavern. But do we have them? This is the most important thing. Yeah, you took them and you Dave kept them. Right. I, I've got them somewhere. <clears throat> oh, Thorfrid. There's one for oh. Thorfrid. There's one for Ager. And then there was a a love poem from a peasant to his girlfriend. Um, I'll give him love letter. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I mean, as much as I really want to, <laughs> I'm only on 12 health. So, <laughs> and we have an army next to us, guys. I don't know if we can fight all of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll I'll hand over. Yeah, um, we we found some others. Yeah, mm. um, he, well, sorry. On. He says, "I trust you will get them to their rightful owners." And he reaches his Absolutely. hand out for Ego's letter. Oh, um. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah, absolutely. Here's here's Jaeger's letter. Hmm. He takes it and opens it, and he looks through, and he says, "Well, gentlemen, I think we're going to be in for a tough fight. Um, these are the number of ships going in and out of the port to the south, um, the main base of operations, Jaeger, and at um, Jaeger, it looks like they have." too many ships or at least they didn't send them away like they did with the rest of the fleet so unfortunately whilst our army is considerably smaller because we sent men south for the winter they seem to have a full field of men ready no wonder they've been starving throughout the winter with all those mouths to feed hmm All righty. He nods and he says, "What? Uh, what are you, gentlemen, going?" Oh, wait! And he reaches in his pocket and he takes out a small message to give you. He says, "I went to the Avery in the hopes that um, I would be able to find my letter that was misplaced, and instead I managed to pick up one for you, gentlemen, that had just come in this morning." <clears throat> oh, oh. What is it? He hands it over to you. Left. Okay. <clears throat> and what does it say? <laughs> it says very simply in Vigo's handwriting, as far as you can tell, you can do a linguistics if you want to check if it's something else. 
it says okay. pent five days signed Vigo pent mm. yep as in P E N T P J E N T it's a place, I believe. Oh. It's Ad's hometown. It's where I came from. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, is there a ship we can say? So, how far is it? How far is Pent? Whatever it is. Snorri says, um, "Oh, it's a good, it's a good two, three day march from here. Shouldn't take you too long. The road's relatively clear. You've taken care of the yeti." Um, I mean, we get supplies from there every day. Maybe even we'll be able to find a wagon in town that's willing to um, let you hitch a ride. Okay. Uh, shall we head to town and see if we can find a wagon? Or do you want to walk it? Well, Snorri interrupts you um... and says, well, don't you want your board and some rest? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, we do. Hmm? Good point. Yes, we do. He, he nods and he says, I believe Gary has a, a pleasant surprise for you all, um, particularly if you've rescued his wife. Is it his wife? <laughs> <laughs> he, he laughs and uh, <laughs> he says, um, as much as Ari is my... Uh, Sister-in-law, she's a, a bitter old shrew. <laughs> I would, uh, I, I, I would, I would take your attentions elsewhere. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Um, let's go, let's go see what this reward is. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we head over to? Uh, well, I'm assuming that. Yeah, do over there. Yeah. 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 You see the priest of Cassisus talking to a man that you've not seen before. He's a bald man with a large red cape, and he's wearing really, really fancy armor. Uh, you see another man who looks very mm. similar in age to Gary. Um, he's got less. He's he's got at least a little bit of a ring of his hair, and he's got his sword, and he's drilling the man with the axe and getting him to swing it again and again and again. Oh, and we've lost to... Dave. Yeah, he'll be back in a second though. <clears throat> nope, and he's out again. Oh, he's gone. Oh, there he is. And he's back again. Yeah, clearly has a bit of PC yet, has he? No, he <laughs> that's never gonna happen. <laughs> oh, it's loading in. I'm wondering if we need to refresh. Oh no, he's here. Hello. Yeah, he's here. Oh yeah, sorry. For some reason uh, connection failed then. Oh, that's fine. You see the second slightly older man. He's drilling his man. And um, they're he's all going. What? He's drilling he's his men, <laughs> as in he's he's taking them through their drills. <laughs> so they're swinging their halberds, and he's saying, "Men left," and they're all going, "Yes, Fricky," and then they're going left, and he's going, "Men right," and they go left, "Yes, Fricky," and then they go right, and the other man is talking to the priest of Cassisus, and he turns to see you when he beckons over, you over. Cool. <clears throat> well, uh... Don't turn up. So, just... You're the um, you're the men my wife's been complaining about. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure the complaints aren't that bad. Killing men that. in the stocks, killing bandits. Nothing that I'd complain about. To be fair, I think you're cleaning up the world a bit. And you also brought Gorn back. As well as my wife, but I'll forgive you for that one. And she gives him a stern look. <laughs> I've got a reward for you, gentlemen. And uh, I think you'll like it. I like and appreciate men like yourselves who can get things done. And, uh, well, by the look of you, it looks like you could all use a bath. I've got a, a nice little hot spring, a bit of an escape from the world in my, uh, in my hall at Scraybad. You're welcome to stay and use it, if you wish. Sounds good to me. Mm. It's a rare treat, not offered lightly. Um, but I'll make the arrangements, and you'll be staying with us tonight, I assume. 
I think so. Yeah. yeah. He nods. He says, very good. Well, I'll see you gentlemen back at Scrobard. Uh, reward? I'll leave a, a reward in your room at Scrobard. It will be sent to you. Oh. Everyone loves sending things these days, don't they? <laughs> okay, so... He says, I'll have one of my servants get you something from the treasury. Lovely. We lost Dave again. We have. I'm just wondering, where, when he says our rooms, does he mean like our rooms around here, or does he mean where we've been staying at the tavern? Here's Dave. You ask Hello. him. Um, yeah, at what address are you sending this to? Well, tonight you'll be staying at the servants' quarters next to the um, the, the spa, so... Um, you might as well. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send the reward there. Close to me. My servants don't have to walk as far from the treasure room. <coughs> <coughs> right. Sounds good. Yeah. Mm. Okay. We'll, we'll head. What time is it? About, what time is it about, about now? It's late. It's probably like eight o'clock, so it's going to be getting dark within an hour or so because yeah. it we'll, is spring. We'll start heading back to uh, the servants' quarters then. Mm. It, do, um, is there food there, or do we need to go to a pub for that? Uh, do you ask, Gary? Yes. He says, um, we'll send a bit of food to your room, but uh, we'll be setting off early tomorrow. What I suggest is you have an early breakfast with us tomorrow. We'll be having a small banquet. Me, my my beloved wife, my servants, and uh, our friends, and a few of my uh, more prominent soldiers. Uh, so what I would suggest is you go back, get some kip. I'll have some uh, gifts sent to you for the morning, and I suggest you have a bath before you come to the banquet. Very well. Hmm. Get yourselves cleaned up for my hall. And he looks at your boots and he says, um, you can wash some of the blood and grime off there, can't you? <laughs> I'll, e I'll even shampoo the dog. He nods, and he says, "I'm sure your uh, your mutter will enjoy the baths. Mine do." I don't think he's had one yet. <laughs> we lost uh, Dave again. I'm sure we, we have. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we head towards these quarters? Yeah. Excellent. It doesn't take long for you to get there. In fact, you're close to quite close to Scraybard, you just follow the water back round and you end up directly um, outside. I'm just trying to find it. There we go. So you find yourself at the servants' quarters in the bathhouse. So what do you guys do first? I'll just put you on a default screen before you... Um, I'll put you on the old fire. So you're shown your quarters. And there's not a lot to do because everything seems locked up and a bit a bit quiet. And uh, they say, here are, your, um, here are your quarters. We'll send you a bit of food and bread. And after you sleep, we'll, um, we'll prepare the, the bathhouse for you. And then you can attend the, the morning banquet. So we can't get a bath right now then. Wait. The, the servant says, um, well, we can we can open it early for you if you want, but uh, the Lord explicitly suggested that you clean yourself before the banquet. Yeah, that's what I mean, the bath. So there's a bath in this room or? Um, so there's a very large bathhouse next to you. Okay. Um, on the quarters. So it, it, there's like a courtyard. I will reveal things. Yeah. Um, on the map for you, so you've got a good understanding of uh, the area, but I won't reveal everything. All I think is, obviously, yeah. it's, there's not much to do. Right now would probably be a good time to go get a bath uh, and get cleaned up, ready for the banquet. So the banquet's in the morning. Still need to get clean, though. The... So the bathhouse is here, where I've put your pins... Excellent. This is your uh, the place that you're staying. 
there's also you know serve various servants staying around there's an archery range as you came in you came in through these large gates there's a big statue of cassisus so you see the the hunter with his bow and his horn in his hand and there's guards in front of the entrance to the estate here so this is what it all looks like nice basically i want to get clean <laughs> i just want a bath i've got i'm filthy I've, I've been killing people and all the rest of it. And, and my, my cat's just filth. It really is. That's fine. So. I'll move everyone uh, to where they are. So Giles, Giles is going to have get cleaned up. Um, cool. I mean, he, he's had to wear dresses. You know, it's just, <laughs> it's just filthy. <laughs> so. Well, you've got your robes back and everything. I, I don't know if you just said you'd change back into them. But you've got everything to uh, to dress into now. Yeah. So you're happily having a bath in the big bathhouse. What's Ulf doing with his downtime? Is he going to go str sleep straight away? or? Um... Uh, yeah, I'll kick off my, my uh, clothes and all that and uh, just chill. Yeah. I'm also quietly uh, praying to next West in this bath. <laughs> Have the old next bath. <laughs> <laughs> can anyone see Dave? I can't see Dave. I might reset quickly. Yeah, let us know if you, if you can get a hold of him. Um, oh, it's just he'll be back straight back in. It's just hopefully. Can you see Dave now? I can't see Dave. Refreshing, but I can't see him. It's doing the refresh thing for ages. I can just see the <clears throat> picture thing that he puts yeah, up. Yeah, that's all I can yeah. see. All right, we'll, we'll assume you'll come back in a minute. Um, so while I'm on this downtime, can I take a closer look at this sword? Yeah, of course you can. So do you draw it? Are you looking at the scabbard? Say again, sorry? Are you looking at it in its scabbard or do you draw it? Uh, I'll draw it. So as oh, you no, draw actually, it. No, I won't draw it. <laughs> I just remembered what happened the last time I pulled it out. So I won't draw it. Okay. <laughs> so how do you handle it then? So this is a this is a long sword. It's got a weird spongy meat flesh like scabbard um with either uh, it looks like bone metal wood it could be any sort of material really it, it's almost like a plastic really as you feel it that that would be the closest thing like a resin um that's sealing the top and bottom of it and then you've got a very similar hilt um and handle and pommel as well and the pommel's all you know gnarled and wrapped up and there's a there's a small stone in it but it's it's there's something very fleshy about this weapon Oh. Um. I, I screw it. I will. I'll. I'll unsheathe it and to take a look at it. <laughs> I'll take a chance. So as you unsheathe it, you no longer hear the flames crackling from the fire, and an eerie silence engulfs the room. You feel. An anger rises in you, but very quickly is suppressed, and you see the blade twitch in your hands and tremble. And you see the blade with its message. And the message says... I told it not, and it did grow. <laughs> told it not, and it did it grow. Did grow. I told it not, and it did grow. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> you remember that you couldn't recognize the language beforehand. And now it's in the language of common. It was in a language you didn't recognize before. Okay. But Lee managed to read it with a comprehend, comprehend languages, oh, yeah. was it? Yes. That yeah. he used last time. So uh, you've realized that the language on the 
longsword has changed. Uh-huh. Is that because I've I've taken ownership of it? Do you think? I think that's, that's something you as a party need to think about. I told it not, and it did grow. I just hope that's not your temper. That's going to grow. <laughs> yeah. Um. So does this sword then? Um. The the silence thing is that stopping casting. If something know? has a verbal component, it will stop the casting in the area around you. Um, right. I, I don't think you know how far the silence stretches around you yet. Right. Uh, you noticed it was very difficult once Gorn got into Lee's face. There were certain things that he couldn't cast. Yeah, because it, it just sucks all the, uh, all, all the, the audio sound, out, doesn't it? So, mm. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, I'll I'll sheath it back up again then. Yeah. Mm. By the way, D- Dave had a blue screen of death because of a USB device plugged into his laptop. By the looks of it, so he okay. will hope to be rejoining us soon. It's, oh, that's fine. But because he's on a slow machine, it may take mm. a few moments. There's things for you to look at and do, though, aren't there? Is there anything else with this sword you want to do, Ed? Uh, Can I get a perception off you, Ed? Is there any of it? 26. Feels really dry, the sword. Beforehand, it felt felt a bit moist, and when you brought your hand away, there was like a red, a plasmary substance on your hand. Feels really dry at the moment. Got Dave back. Can I... Could I, I, I ask ah. um, Could I just hold it for a second, to see, see how it feels? Is it she? Oh. If not, you're not going to be able to hear him. Wait, oh, but I miss? You'll have to make do with gestures. So, so from that, then that feeling, that perception I've got off it, just I have a feeling it needs to be soaked in blood to charge. It just Maybe. feels dry. Just feels dry. <laughs> yes, I find you Paris. This feels a lot drier than before. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll resheathe it. Okay. You could talk, Nally. Uh, could I just hold that for a moment? Or if I just want to see how it feels when I hold it. I'll be like, yeah, sure. You might feel a little bit angry. <laughs> <laughs> You've not really missed anything, Dave. Um, You've just come to the servants' quarters of Gary's house because um, he's invited you here for the night. He says he's going to deliver a ward in the morning. There's a bit of food, and he suggests you use the bathhouse before the banquet. Lee's already gone in and had a dip, but there's a nice big bathhouse next door over here and a big courtyard with a statue of Cassisus and a, a training area and servants' quarters and you know all sorts of things. And that's the gate out, that's the gate in, and there's nice big walls. So it's uh, nice and snug. <clears throat> Okay, so I've got, I've got hold of Wolf's sword. Yeah. And I'm just going to unsheath it to see what happens. Yep. Silence envelops. But I don't feel the thing. Mm, not really. Interesting. Uh, uh, looking at the blade, can I notice anything, anything different on it? Any, any text? Yeah, you notice the same text shimmer up. Um, only it's in the original language that it was in. Okay. At the start, the weird um, spirally writing. I resheath it and uh, pass it back to Wolf. Yeah. As it leaves your hands, Lee, you notice that same plasmary substance has left a trail on your hands. But when you pass it back to Ad, it's completely dry in his. doesn't leave any goo, any trail. But for you, it's a bit like a snail. It's a bit ugh, sticky. <clears throat> does does yeah. that goo ha- have any effect on his, his demeanour? Like, or... 
No, not at all. Doesn't no. gross you out. It's just like, it's just like if you'd scratched a scab and rubbed your hand, you know, like a a, a small wound or, you know, it's it's not really gross. It doesn't even really smell. It's just a bit um like that sort of blood smell, that irony, hemoglobiny smell. Mm. Mm. One to watch. I feel this sword's going to be very interesting. I'll look forward to cleaving yeah. somebody soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make sure I do. <laughs> no, in our track record, the whole village is in danger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go to bed. Uh, oh, have they bought the food yet? Yeah, they've brought a small tray with just some morsels of bread on and yeah. some um, some jerky as well. Ooh, jerky. So I eat the food. Yeah. Some of, and I, I've always prayed to next whilst I was having a bath. Yeah. And I, I, I'm going to go to bed. Cool. What are you guys going to do then for the night? Are you going to take a bath first? Are you going to take a bath in the morning? Uh, uh, I'll do it in the morning. I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll join you, but you know, it's a bit weird. But, um, I mean, it's the whole bathhouse. That's the point. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll... Um, can I... In this this purse I've got... Yeah. It, it still smells like death in there, doesn't it? There's still like blood and guts and yeah. stuff in there. It doesn't smell great. Take a um, bath. <laughs> I'm just thinking about washing it down. <laughs> oh, oh well, would the entire spa pool disappear into the That's back? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, water just goes. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, we should try something on a lake. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to clear. I'm gonna, can I ask? I don't know if I, is there any servants around that you've brought? Can I ask for like hot water? They've they've already gone, but the bathhouse is open and there's hot water in it. And I mean, Lee's just gone. So there's soap on the side of the bathhouse. There's towels. There's you know, it, it's it's just like a big wooden room that's attached to a, a local local hot spring um, or spa. And then there's just like cloth hanging up. There's some big buckets. Um, there's some little pallets with soap on. Cool. I'm. <laughs> gonna go in there and I'm gonna pour some hot water into them. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else in that bag at the moment. I think I only had the purse I need. Uh, you've got some. Uh, you've got. Oh, got the armor. His half plate armor, haven't you? Um, you've got some. You've got his greaves as well, and then you've got a few little other bits and pieces in there, haven't you? I thought you moved some of your stuff into it. I did. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. Um... I mean, if you've got a rag and some soap, you could just clean everything up, can't you? Yeah. It's yeah, going to take you a while. Yeah. I mean, what time is it now? In, in it's probably about 9, eight. 10. How long do you reckon it'll take me to clean? I'd say about 40 everything. minutes to give it a reasonable scrub. Oh, that'll do. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, I will do it, that. I, I mean, will, it's easy. There's yeah. a whole, you've got a whole hot spa available. So you dip it in, dip it back in the spa, like just literally just give it a soapy scrub. Yep. Sounds good to me. I'll do that with everything I own. Cool. Excellent. You clean off and do you have a bath yourself? Um, n- no. I'll wait until morning. Cool. Excellent. So 40 minutes later, you have clean stuff. Yeah. Yay. Um, you're in bed, aren't you, Ad? Your character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Dave, you're the last person up. I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, excellent. So, you guys go to sleep for about eight hours, and in the morning, um, well, it's a bit earlier than morning. It's pretty dark, but a you hear a rat tat tat on the door. Go away. <laughs> it's um the rattles get a bit louder and it's like open in the name of Gary. I open the door. Okay, uh, not that door, Lee. The uh the door of the, uh, room. the room door. Yeah, the room uh, door. Yeah. I shouldn't know. Hmm? 
It's a guard with a halberd and a scowl on his face. Okay, so the... <laughs> 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 he wraps, he uh, rats tat tats on it again. Uh, I'll go to the door this time. Open it up. <laughs> he glares at you, and he says, uh, "The banquet is in an hour. I suggest you uh, get yourselves clean before then, um, or invoke the displeasure of Gary." Do you know when our pr- prize is turning up? He nods. He says, um, "We'll be. I'm, I'll make sure that it's in your room before you leave for the banquet." Cheers. Slam the door. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll. Um, I guess. Well, now I've been woken up. I'll, I'll go get have a have a bath. Hmm. Ah, yes. I'll. Oh. I'll uh, Drag Baldrick by the scruff of his neck in there as well. <laughs> yeah, cool. I mean, I don't think Baldrick hates it. I actually think he'd probably dive in quite happily. Oh, okay. <laughs> are you staying in the room, Giles? Or are you going with no, him? No, I'm having another bath. Yeah. Cool. Two baths in uh, a day. Cool. I'll get in. <laughs> so the water's really nice and hot. I assume all your armors are on the side. Everything's, you know, within arm's reach and, and getting yes. nice and squeaky nice. clean. How long are you guys in there for? Uh, till breakfast arrives. Till breakfast. <laughs> Until the banquet chilling. starts in an hour. Uh, oh, is <laughs> it? Oh, of course. Oh, we don't uh, get breakfast first. Luckily. No, no. You, it's it's a it's a bar- breakfast feast before you guys head out. Uh, it's, like, okay. it's still dark at the moment. All, They've got you well early for my, this banquet. All I've got in my head now is some people bringing breakfast to us whilst we're chilling out in these baths. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a bacon. <laughs> Slice of bacon for you, sir. Nice. Spa bacon. I suppose Ooh. I, uh, I uh, get out okay, and uh, go back to the room. Can I get a perception while you're walking back to the room? Oh, no. 24. You hear... A muffled sound from the door, the main door over here, and you hear banging and scratching, and the guard turn round startled, and he's just staring at it. And it's sort of like banging again and again and again. And the guard fumbles with something on his hand, puts his hand up to it, and you see he's got a key, and then thinks better of it and withdraws it and sort of stares at the door and you hear screaming and hear banging and then all of a sudden it stops. What and he the... sort of paused with the key in his hand, looking really surprised. To me and... Oh, we're, in... we're not in that room, are we? No, we're, in the... we're still in the bath. <laughs> I go back and tell these guys what I've just heard. <laughs> um, and tell to get out of the bath. Let's go investigate. Sounds good, yeah. I'll, I'll get dressed. I in the... feel a massacre coming on. <laughs> make, make a way over and uh, ask him why the apprehension. Uh, I, I just go, God, that key just has the end. Can you uh, open the door for us? No. <laughs> he looks at you and he says, I guard the front gate, but there's men on the other side that guard the inner gate. I, there's no, there's no way in. The the only way in is the front door. The The only the only way in is this courtyard. He points at the big door at the bottom here. He says, "I don't. I I I'm not meant to to open this door and go inside. I'm to guard this courtyard. I only have the key in, in case his lordship needs to come through." Giles, before we get started on anything, <laughs> do you fancy giving us a bit of a heal? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. of course. Let's let's do a um, a cure moderate wounds. Mm. The guard says your a servant came out not not a minute ago and and delivered your gift to your room. Do you know what? Before we open this door. We'll see what this gift is. If it's a weapon mm. of some kind. I'm just going to evolve for um, five for bad. Oh, can you do one me as well, man? Please. 
fucking like really bad. Uh, Thirteen HP added for you, Ad. Oh, lovely! Good hell! Don't you, don't you dare give me two. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. But for you, it's only seven. <laughs> I'm sorry. I rolled a so I rolled a five and a two. This is just and I rolled the two as you said. Don't you dare give me two. <laughs> That's your own fault. <laughs> yeah, cool. cool. Nineteen health again. Okay. Right. So are we heading into discover our? Uh... Yeah. Pick red in here. See what what we've got before we go. Um, rock the boat. Does it work? I'll just uh, say, yeah. don't do anything or go anywhere to this guard. He he yeah. nods slowly. Slowly. So what's in here? I don't see anything. So you see on the table, um, you see a small pouch. And it's next to your washing up jug. And uh, you op- I don't know if you open it or whatever you want to do, but it's like a, a small bag, like a, a little sack, like a coin purse. I open it. <clears throat> yeah. Filled to the brim with gold. Uh, do we know how much gold's in here? Um, I think you could roughly estimate. I don't think it's difficult counting coins. You think there's about um, uh, twelve hundred gold, so one thousand two hundred gold in there. Four hundred each. Yeah, four hundred each exactly. Excellent. I'm just going to add that to me. There. And me too. Yeah, we all we all dip that out. Yeah. Yeah. So whip that out as quickly as possible. And you know what? There might be more through that door. Through that door. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, you know. Let's the, guard, the guard the turns to you and says, I was meant to let you inside for the banquet anyway. Um, are you prepared? Uh, can I listen at the... Oh, I'll come outside. Uh, can I listen at the door? Like, put my ear up it and see if I hear anything. Yeah. You put your ear to the door. And can I get a perception, please, off you, Ad? Yeah. Um, Oh, 32. You hear with your elven ears and your heightened senses a slight muffle of a sound that you, as you listen closer, you hear it really timely, and it's a... Okay, so it doesn't sound like anyone planning anything or it just sounds like general chat. It sounds not like common language. Oh. It's not human. Uh, I'll turn to this guard outside and go, uh, do the guards in there speak anything regularly other than their... Uh common language you mean like elf speak Mm. (laughs) no we just we speak the common tongue here okay so they wouldn't have any reason to speak any other than he shakes his head Uh, i don't think your guards are behind that door anymore he he says the Lord the Lord must be rescued. Be rescued. Eh? Ah, he says yeah, okay, his Lordship sorry, sorry. Gary, his wife, Arya, they, they they must be rescued. Okay. You first? <laughs> um he says um someone needs to someone needs to summon the the army. Um, I know just the man for the job for that. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> he turns and looks very appreciative. He looks quite terrified. Um, he says, "In all my years, no one's ever reached inside this gate. I, I can't. I don't understand. They must have crawled up through the toilet or something. I, 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 I don't know." And he uh, he says, "I will I will call for help." And he puts the key in the door, and then he and then, um, um, he begins to run. 
and opens the front door and you hear him shut it and latch it behind him and then heads off down the street. And the key hangs in the door, ready to be turned. I turn the key. Yeah. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Can I just quickly, just as Giles does, I just put my hand. No. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. <laughs> that you dare bleeding touch me. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I've got the braces and, and the light armor and things like that. Um, um, yeah. No, Gary, yeah. And um, I, I can't remember what the what the braces do. What was it? There's something special about the braces. Uh, I don't remember if you found out or not by looking at it. Um, I don't think I did, admittedly. Okay, then I'm not going to tell you until you get it inspected. Damn. Um, can I just? I mean, do they add? They won't add any more armor onto you, will they? <laughs> Oh, you don't know. They could do. They might not. They might do something else. You don't know. Do you know well, what? I'll be like, on. I'm just yeah, I am. <laughs> Can I fit the braces? Braces, please. Yeah. Cool. Um, you fit them on. They feel quite sturdy. Not particularly heavy, and they feel nice and they're flexible. Just, cool. They're just going to be normal braces, aren't they? Uh, <laughs> um, that's cool. I'll um braces um can like any of the any of the small armor that i've got will that fit over the top of my armor well can i bolster my own armor with anything or so the armor that you got from um gorn, gorn. is not really suitable for you to use it's large heavy oh, plate. Yeah. that's fine no worries no worries it's not something that's cool. you'd be able i'll leave to that wear. in the bag hmm. that's cool i'll leave that in the bag I'll just put the braces on, and uh, we'll. Uh, shall we all ready up with axes and bows and things? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go <laughs> kill something. Uh, yeah. I'll stay back here and draw my bow. Okay, I'll, I'll um, hands ready. I'll draw an axe. Cool, and uh, I'll turn. Well, the key's already turned, isn't it? So I'll just. Uh, I'll give a boot to the door. Okay. You give a boot, boot to the door and it shakes inwards and then slowly creaks out because that's the way it opens. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it opens up and you look inside and you see, well, you peer inside and you're all sort of just hanging in the doorway. I mean, you can step back if you like, but I'm just going to show you the view from you hanging in the doorway. And you look inside and you see a bit of a sight. Hmm. You see bodies up ahead, blood all over the floor. Um, to the left of you, a locked door. To the right of you, a door burst open. And you can see what looks like legs or limbs in the start of the other room. So, are we here or here? Uh, you're here at the bottom, so you travelled okay. up into here. Okay. Uh, um, do you want me to? Pl are you taking a step inside? Do you want me to place you? No, I'm going for perception. Ooh. Yeah. Cool. Twenty-two. Nice. You hear the noise coming from the other side of the locked door. The blah 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 Okay. And Jealous, can you roll Hello. the traps? I can. I roll for I roll for traps. Oh uh, you did not want me to roll for traps. That bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, What'd you get? My, my trap. Uh, I, I rolled a four, and my trap finding is eight to twelve. Yeah, no traps. 
you'd be confident if you saw traps you'd be confident there were traps if you didn't see traps you'd be confident like normally you wouldn't know your role if that makes sense with that score so you're confident there's no traps i've got to go to the store i want to go to the store i'm going to go in i'm going to go to the store i'm going to go in with him yeah cool is the and i'll back in can i back in all for me a second i'm putting you in on the token layer i'm going to come in but i'm going to check this one that's already open behind us with the limbs on the floor um i'm going to go forward and head up to these people here okay anyone being sneaky or stealthy yeah can i get stealth rolls from those of you being sneaky and stealthy i mean i can vote for it <laughs> yes please <laughs> uh 27 Two. Oh, stealth. Oh, 26. 26. So Dave silently starts. Uh, Angela silently stalks down the hallway, um, staying just in sort of the shadow of the torchlight. Um, the sun isn't up yet, and it's still relatively dark here. And he almost disappears in comparison to the wall. Lee, you're fumbling with the door really loudly with the latch and um you know you just try to open it and it's just not like oh why isn't it opening um and it takes you a couple of seconds but you figure out that it's locked all feel sort of being quiet tiptoeing but occasionally there's a on the um on the floor and as you peer in you can see that this area has been completely devastated you look at two bodies on the floor um that you recognize well he maybe you recognize the creature of can i get some knowledge uh can i get some knowledge nature because they do look a little yeah. bit different dead than alive um, where are you nature nine uh 27 yeah bugbears right okay two bugbear corpses large burly on the floor you see the maces in their hands the snarling look on their face as they've clearly um been felled by some guards from behind two human guards lay in front of you a female and a male both of them with um, swords in their hand obviously traded their lives for the bugbears and there's just blood everywhere i'll uh, quietly shout over to charles and dave bugbears yeah cool giles that door still isn't working and dave i don't know what you're doing is the... uh, do, you, do you use the front door key on it? Yeah, that's what I was going to try to get the front door key out of the doesn't door. Doesn't work, I'm afraid. Different sized one. And on the other side, you hear. Have I got anything that can undo a lock? You've Wait, got do lock I have picking engines. Somebody's got lock. Just wondering that. Well, I can use strength on it. I can just kick the door the down. The disabled device works on all mechanical devices, including locks, Dave. Oh, so you well. are a, a, you're a supreme lock picker. Get, get on, Dave. Get in. I, 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 I'm, yeah. In you go, Stand, as, stand aside. Um, can you roll will... your disabled device for me, please? No problem. Uh, uh, okay, so that's 20... Four. Yeah. Yeah. Lock lock falls away, the door opens. And you see inside. And as the door swings open, you see two indignant goblins turning around and looking at you like jaw open like. <laughs> Can you roll initiative, please? Oh, three. Uh... Teens. Total plus seven. Oh, 20. Actually, uh, two. 20. <laughs> two even. I've got to minus one then. <laughs> <laughs> Elf. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh... oh is this initiative? Sorry. I'm miles away. Yes, please. Uh, oh, 20. Twenty, uh, Dave. Your initiative modifier is higher, isn't it? So I think Dave still goes first. Over you, Adam. Mm -hmm. um, Dave, you're first. You get to act before anyone else does this round because you are the fastest. Mm. Um, 
Can I? Okay. Can I? As a free action, can I shout at these? Yeah, of course you can. Um, I'll just shout: stand down or be killed. There you go. Do we get anything from that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they've not understood you. You don't know. I'm gonna throw an axe at one of them. Okay, <laughs> cool. Your throwing axe, please. Then, They're which throwing axe you use? You have a couple, don't you? I have four in total, plus a silver one. Well, I've only got like I'm only using the normal axe. Um. Yeah, I'll, uh... What you going for the one that's fifteen feet away or the one that's twenty five? Oh, sorry, feet yeah. Away? Um, I'm gonna tr- yeah. From where I am, be easy to throw at that one. But yeah, I'm gonna throw at the one that's um there. The one that's twenty five foot away. Okay, D twenty yeah. plus five for me, please, to see if you can no get problem. it. D twenty plus five. 19 I rolled plus 524. Nice, that'll be a hit on this tiny little goblin. Um, are you uh, can you roll 2d6s for me? Sorry, 1d, sorry, 3d6s. So your first d6 you need to plus by. I just need to have a look at your character sheet again because it's plus sneak attack. Um, so you get two d two d six points of damage that you'll need to roll after the fact, and then for your throwing damage, it's just a it's one d six plus one. So if you roll your one d six plus one and then add two d six on after that, okay, so I roll six. Yep. So that's plus that's one. seven. So seven. Yep. And need to roll two d six after that. Uh, four. And five. For five, six, seven, mind, these, plus oh, nine, that's sixteen. Only good roll to do. And I murdered a goblin. That's good enough because you sure as hell murdered that goblin. Um, yep. So that goblin, uh, how do you want to do it? Ooh. Well, how do I kill it? Yeah. Um, you throwing axe. Oh. What does it look like? Oh. What does it look like? It looks like this. So it's gonna go. <laughs> Don't throw that in your room, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Is anyone um, else concerned that he has that in reaching distance? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um yeah, I'm gonna. It's I'm, okay, right? It's gonna like proper boom, 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 and it's gonna hit it like square in the chest and pin it to the back wall. Yeah. So you say it pins it to the back wall. Um, I mean, it it it, thro- it it throws him back, but as soon as he hits the open wardrobe, he disappears. Uh oh. And you see a haze of darkness on the open wardrobe behind him. Oh, okay, so no, I've got done. Oh, God, yeah. No, it's, it's just it's like that, so it's a secret passage, right? Isn't it? Uh, do you want to do your movement, or are you happy to end your go? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, and as I do, I'm gonna come in and stand there. Okay, cool. Clear the way. Free up a bit of a shot for bad or something. Oh, wait, cool. Ulf, sorry. Ulf, it's your turn. And Baldrick's turn. Um, I'm going to make Baldrick stay where he is. Cool. Uh, and I'm going to unsheath Wrath. Hmm. Uh, no. And make my way and have a go at this goblin. Cool. I have no idea what stats this sword is. That's fine. Um, you unsheath wrath, and it goes eerily quiet, and you begin to swing it at the um, the the goblin. Uh, can you act like you are 
attacking it with let's have a look what melee weapon you have add and use those stats and i'll add on everything that you need um so if you attack it like you're f using your club ad okay. except it's a d8 to for damage die so it's what for your so plus melee four attack plus four yeah Uh, 20. Yep. Um, so Wrath screams as you bring it down upon the goblin. The silence is broken by the sound of what is a shooting star and a blood-curdling scream, uh, and it connects with the go goblin's shoulder. Uh, do you want to roll for damage for me, please, Ed? Yeah. So it's 1d8. Um, yeah. You don't have any bonuses because of your strength, um, but I'll, I'll add on the rest of the damage from Wrath. Okay. Uh, seven. Nice. Okay. So, how do you want to do it? Um, cleave him straight through at an angle from the shoulder where it was going to, all the way through to the other side. Excellent. So, you cleave straight through this goblin. And as you do, you notice your very dry sword begins to suck in the blood of this goblin as it spills, and you see the sort of the two dry halves of the goblin hit the floor. And the sword seems to look a tiny bit bigger, but wet with the goblin's blood before sort of easing off and looking nice and crimson, but it's gone dry again. It's just you think it's grown by like maybe a centimeter or so. Oh, nice. Yeah. I wish I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, so that goblin is dead on the floor as well. Two halves. Um, so now you're in this room with this wardrobe and this weird, eerie open. It's a bit like Narnia-esque, but it looks like a shadow inside. Um, and you can't see the goblin that's gone through. Uh, is it my go? Uh, yes, it is. I mean, you're no longer in combat, um, but yes, you can do what you need to do, Lee. Yeah, I'm. I'm walking into the wardrobe. Okay. <laughs> so you walk in, and as you do, you feel a burning sensation in your face as you sort of try and go through it, like nose and face first. Um, and actually, you are bounced back from going inside and you hear like a ringing in your ears you feel a bit sick um you can't go through and you just feel awful but you think you well, can i get a perception please mm. 24 on the other side you saw a hellish landscape um a sick looking land green ground with fire um you saw like the remains of all sorts of different creatures. Um, it just looked like a hellscape. Um, and on the other side, you saw the body of the goblin with the axe, but you couldn't you couldn't go through. Okay. Um, well, uh, yeah, I explained that to Wolf and Angelus. Um, how the hell we're we gonna get through there? Well, the the, the goblin went through. Yeah, but he's dead. He's obviously come through there. He's allowed. Do you two, you should, you two want to give it a go? See if I have you two. Want to go? <laughs> no. Uh, mm. Can I? Did it? Search... Was it just a, a heat that was just really hot, Lee or um, Giles, or did it feel painful? No, it made me feel sick as well. So it's made you feel sick. Yeah. It felt all of the above and particularly sick as well. Like you were lurched a thousand miles in, in, in one go. And then when you stepped back, it was like your head was spinning. It's clearly some magic. Of some Can type. I send Baldrick through? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to try. Bye, Baldrick. It's nice going. <laughs> oh, bye, Baldrick. Uh, but um, let's have a look at... Um, Baldrick's uh, tricks. I don't know if Baldrick will, you can order him to go through somewhere, can you? Let's have a look. Uh... 
So his tricks are he will attack, come, defend, down, guard, and heal. Oh, okay. So you can't send him through. I mean, you could try and shove him through. <laughs> pick you up oh. and go, hey, hey. Can um... I... Can I pick up this um, keg and try mm. and throw it through? In fact, no. Can I pick up this stool yeah. and throw the stool through? Uh, of course you can. Yeah, you pick up the stool um, and you throw it through. Okay, and it's gone through. And it's gone through just fine. Okay. So objects can go through. We can't. I want my axe back. <laughs> we can't go through, or you just felt a bit funny because you didn't go all the way through. It might be. <clears throat> Where's the dead bug bears? I'm going to go search their corpse. Over here. Yeah. yeah. I search the book bear's corpse. They've got some maces on them. They've got some small shields. They've got their weird hide armor on. Other than that, they don't really have anything else on them. They've got weird... They've actually got weird symbols carved into their flesh. Um, and you recognize the symbol as... Oh, what did you have a dream about, Lee? The Giles? Oh, uh, oh, something going to kill me. Oh, the bloody the, symbols the here. That thing. Oh, so you see hell. this carved on all of their oh. skin. We've seen that before. We have seen that before. Yeah, I've got a belt with that on. Wait, I have a belt with that on. <laughs> I'm going to put the belt on. Where did you get the belt from? I don't remember. I you got it from those two book bears that they you killed. Uh. Yeah. Basically, I mean, to be fair, if you wonder where any of my equipment comes from, it's come from a corpse. <laughs> and this is why he has the big purple purse. Yeah, yeah put that put that belt on and see if you can jump through the hole. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to reach into my purse, pull out my belt. Okay. Strap it on. And you walk and through I'm the portal. Gonna, I'm going to have a bit of a run up and I'm going to I'm going to try and jump through the portal. Cool. You go through easy as pie, and you feel sick on the other side. It's like breathing in sulfur on the other end. You see this pale, sickly ground. Your hands aren't quite focused. It's like your ears are ringing, um, and everything about this plane of existence is just weird. As you look around, you see the dead goblin in front of you with the axe in, and you actually, when, as you look around, you begin to see more bodies, some bugbears, some goblins clearly didn't make it through the, for the you know through this 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 journey um and you notice big bite marks out of all of them um <laughs> oh no i am not dying in there no 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 i'm gonna i'm going can i um um okay can i can you give me a fortitude save in case you're sickened dave I thought you were going to roll for perception then. <laughs> I, yeah, I, you know what? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, fortitude save, say. Yes, please. Uh, is it my total fortitude or base save? It's your um, your base save, much like your modifier. So that's plus, plus one. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. No, it's your total. Sorry. It's your total. Uh, it's still not much, still not much better. Uh, I rolled a two, so yeah. that's six. Okay, you hit the ground, um, and you just throw up everywhere, uh, like Team America style. Like you just hit the floor and just <laughs> <laughs> as you vomit up breakfast and you know what you ate last night, um, three days worth of food. You just feel awful. Um, and as you breathe in this more sort of sulfury smelling, uh, there's just not, you don't belong here. There's just something completely not right about this place. Cool. Um, um, <laughs> as I am spewing up my bounty, my fountain of vomit, hmm. um, I want, can I get towards the, um, I, I'm getting my axe back. Um, 
I want to go to the goblin and can I um is he light enough to carry? What the goblin as a whole? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it takes you a few moments because for six seconds there's nothing you can do apart from throwing up and you begin to look around and your eyes are burning as that sulfury smell is getting more and more intense and your skin feels like it's just on fire. Um, but you manage to crawl your way up to the goblin and grab a hold of him. Cool. Um, I mean, I suppose the question is, though, can I turn around, can I see the portal that I came through? You see a small haze in the air, in an archway, with doors on this side. Like old, creaky doors, very similar to the wardrobe doors on the other side. And they're sort of like, just very gently flapping. Cool. That's right. uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to retrieve my axe and pick up the body. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to head back towards the haze and try and dive through that. Cool. You're back on the material realm. Oh, thank God. But right. I'll be like, guys, two things. Don't go in there. And I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> How did the belt do? Well, that's why I thought I'd bring back the, the, the can is the as the, can I um drop him on this on the table here? Yeah, of course you can. You drop the goblin body down. Um, can I get a... Well, actually, you don't, get, you don't need a perception. You hear behind you, coming from the portal, a massive scream, shriek, and you hear like... Rawr, 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 getting louder and louder and louder and louder from the other side of the uh, the, the, the wardrobe. Yeah. Um... Can I look at this? Does, does this goblin have another belt with that kind of symbol on it or anything of that symbol? Carved him? into his flesh. Shit. Um, <laughs> um, Why are we not set fire to this bloody wardrobe yet? I don't think it'll do anything. Regular wardrobe, uh, doors open, just next to two others. I mean, we can always just shut the. Shut, 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 we just shut the. Wood <laughs> shut the door and forget about it. <laughs> Let's go out for breakfast. Yeah, just, boom. That's nothing there. Do you shut the doors? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Don't ask questions like that. I mean, I want to know what you do. I've got a vested interest as the DM. Do you shut if, the doors? Oh, if you shut the doors. Set fire to it. Anything that comes through is going to be immediately on fire. If the portal's linked to the doorway, but you'll have to see first. Wait, do I have a bear trap on me? Isn't there I think I have a bear bag? trap on yeah, me. You, I don't you know. Oh, yeah you, yeah, you did put one in the bag, didn't you? I did, yeah. I'm going to set a bear trap just in front of the doors. Does that mean you're shutting the doors first? Yeah. Yes. You close the doors and you begin to set your bear trap. Excellent. You know, as you close the door, noise stops. Don't, don't, don't worry about that. Let's just keep that door closed. In actual fact, I think we should get out of here and forget. You know, that. Um, you know the old uh, fridge light bulb scenario. <laughs> oh yeah, many many a time doing that. So we're going to hope, pray that this portal is now turned off. Just get, give the door a little. Yeah. Can I? As I've set the trap, can I obviously avoid my own trap, but can I just kind of open the door a little bit? You open the door, can... no portal. Excuse me. Normal wardrobe. Ah. I pick up, I de disarm and pick up my bear trap. Yep, cool. Huh. Shall we go for breakfast, guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything in three days. Um, yeah, we, we best go and tell them that something freaky just happened. Yeah, because that arm is well slow. Just before we do, can we? Um, can I go pee in? Our... Yep, door to the banquet hall's just here. Door to the banquet hall. Okay. 
Yeah. We won't be there in about an hour's time, aren't we? Oh no, is everyone dead? Oh no. We didn't kill them this time. <laughs> but it's the food there. That's Wait, where the on. banquet was gonna be. Um, can I um, nip into here and can I just search all the bodies in here? Is that possible? Of course you can. There's a couple of beer barrels. Um, I mean, you can give me a perception if you want. Every time we stay at somebody's house, everybody dies. Yep. The perception at the Chad looks wrong. Um, um, the barrels are um, full of beer. At least two of them are. The other two are empty. Um, there's there isn't any food, but there's parchment, ink. Um, there's some general goods, like rolls of cloth, um, candles, all the type of things that would run a house. Um, there's a tin bath. There's cloth. There's a few clothes of the servants' clothes. There's some tools, knives, forks, a hoe, a broom. It's kind of like a mixture of a store closet and like the general things that the servants need to run the house. Um, and there's a desk with various writings on, nothing really important that you can see, um, but just maybe like ordering lists, um, names of people. That's right. it. Right. Okay. A few books. Okay. Um, I just wanted to check, make sure we didn't miss anything important in there. So I'm going to just step casually over the bodies. And uh, can I check these bodies? Yeah, of course you can. Uh, short swords on them both, uh, leather armor that's now broken. Um, nothing. They've they've their, uh, their boots are gone. Um, one of them, there's clearly his earrings have been just ripped out because his ears are sliced. Um, the other one looks like they cut a finger off to get a ring. Hmm. It sounds like bandits then, because they've come for gold and things like that, aren't they? I'll, I'll convey this over to everyone. It sounds like you've, it's, it sounds like a robbery. I don't know, but like, are, are they not being enchanted somehow or something? Because they've all got those symbols on them. Then why would bandits come from like a hellscape? Oh, that's true. Yeah, it doesn't add up. Mm. But we still need breakfast. Oh, he's still need to at home. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's the... I, I'm... I am I set on in. Okay, so as you get to the door, you try it and it rattles in your hand. It's another locked door. Oh, oh can I disarm it? <laughs> yep, give it a go. Excellent. Um, Roll in 16. Uh, plus my disarm... Disabled device or 12. Okay. 20, uh, 28. 28. Cool. Uh, this one's a much easier lock. As your pick slides in, you feel the latch really quickly and you just give it a twist and immediately it just comes away and unlocks and opens. And it just opens a tad, just a little slice, and you can peer through the door. Shall we all have a look through, guys? Yeah. So as you look through the hole in the door you see on the other side um bugbears filling the hall i say filling the hall um you can count that there are i'm just going to reveal the area oh, you can shit. see that there's three bugbears in the hall um that have clearly ransacked and killed the participants um you don't see anyone of particular importance, um, no nobles in here, but you do see Gary's wife here, and she is at the head of the table, and she is both laughing and crying at the same time, tears spilling from her face. She looks really confused about the emotions she should be feeling. Um, her hair looks wild, and there's like a green tint in her eyes. You don't know what's going on. There's something not right with her. Uh, the bugbears are just completely ignoring her and just rifling through. All of them have these big symbols cut across the visible parts of their chest and on their arms, carved in, and they look like they're on a complete mission. Uh, these two are just fully armed. Uh, this guy on the end looks like he's sort of um, 
he's he's saying like a prayer and touching the different bodies and picking things out and he's the one who's sort of taking the jewelry off their fingers and he's putting it in his pocket and he's he's doing a bit of looting but there's something about him that's just a little bit more different than the others mm. Okay. Okay. Um, Shall we go and inspect the one that's slightly different? What are you What are you looking for about him? Just Just search his body. Wait, this guy. What like view oh, okay. view what he's view what he's got on him. Yeah. Uh can I get a perception please so you can have a look at what he's uh what he's equipped with. Twenty one. He's got no visible weapons on him apart from a dagger which he's using to red things. It looks like it's made of bone, an unusual material. He's got a big religious symbol round his neck. Lee, can I get a knowledge of religion, please? Wait, is this a uh, skill modifier or ability modifier? Your knowledge religion, it should be the total on your skills. You have a knowledge religion, don't you, Lee? Yeah, I do. Yep, knowledge religion for skill modifier. Yeah, sorry, it's the total closest next to the, um, the char, the whiz, the dex. So it's the one on the left. So yeah, so yours is plus four. So that's 24. Yeah. 24, you notice it to be one of the demonic symbols of the hellscape. You know this one to be a particularly nasty uh, demon lord by the name of Satarus, god of insanity. Um, however, you notice that that symbol has been slashed through and over it, a stamp has replaced it with this new symbol of the new god that these thing, creatures follow. So this was a previous follower of the demon lord Satarus, the goat demon of madness, and it it looks like he's following a new god now, pretty recently. We still don't know what this god is, though, do we? Um, nope. I, I, I explain it to the other guys. Uh, is, this, is he coming for us, or is he just standing there? They've not seen you, so they're still picking about the room. I don't know if you wait for them to move, but he moves over to the guests over here. He's cutting off fingers and jewellery. They're kind of guarding around the table now, just looking out for survivors. And it looks like they're, they're waiting for something. And Arya is just cackling, crying, throwing up, shaking, goes back to laughing again. And then the green in her eyes goes really intense, and then it goes to a normal eye colour, and she's crying again, and she's just a complete mess. Sum it's up with her. I'm gonna throw an axe at her. <laughs> Can't we just, is there not a way to just knock her out or something? Throw an axe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget Gary's still here somewhere, on. maybe. Ah, uh, fair enough. I'll, um, I won't kill her. Yes. Um, I'm going to try and throw a sneaky axe at um, this dude. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, can I get a, um initiative from you all beforehand, before you start com combat? Um, I'll tell you what, shall we pause it here? Because we're at 10 to, and I know the rest of this combat is going to be quite long, possibly. <laughs> That's fine, on what but, happens. but I just want to uh, log my initiative as twenty. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if you could, if you want to roll your initiatives and remember them, I'm happy with that. Oh, I won't be forgetting that one. Oh, I won't remember this, but um, oh god, what have I rolled there? Nine plus seven. Uh, oh, I'm I'm sixteen. First time, Dave's not gone first. Yeah. Uh, 
Dad? This is it. Yeah, so this big fight. Seven is for me. Damn. Wait, so Lee goes first. Yep. Good Next day. time on Pathfinder Norvald. <laughs> right. Right, well, I'll end it there then. That was fantastic. Awesome. Thank you.